Hey everybody, Justin here for another exciting episode of Marvel Legendary. Solo, let's go. So, today we're going up against Macho Gomez. And I'm not lying to you. Every time until last night when I was making this, like, putting the information in for the overlay, I thought this dude's name was Nacho Gomez. So, um... I'm a little bit shook, to be completely honest with all of you. I thought this dude was Nacho Gomez, but apparently he's Macho Gomez. Okay, so, he has revenge for Deadpool's friends, which the revenge is, uh, this card gets plus one attack for each cards of that villain group in my victory pile. His master strike is put this strike in front of you as a bounty on your head, then each player gains a wound for each bounty on them. Any number of times you may pay one to move a bounty from you to a player on your left. So... We're going to get, if all goes well, I mean, if all goes bad, we have 5, 9, 12, we have 50, we're going to gain 15 wounds over the course of this, if for all these master strikes. So we got to beat Macho Gomez before he, you know, puts the ultimate bounty on us. What is he? What is he? Anyways, his, um... <laughs> His uh, scheme is Sinister Ambition, so set up six twists, add ten random Ambition cards to the villain deck. Ambition cards are villains with their printed attack. And then, um, oh my god, my deck's going to be all the way over here, huh? Crazy. Um, with their printed attack, and they get plus one attack for each twist stacked next to this scheme. They are worth four victory points. Whenever an ambition escapes due to its ambition effect, twist one to five, stack this twist next to the scheme, play another card from the villain deck, uh, and then each ambition villain in the city escapes. And then evil wins when four ambition villains escape. Let's see what our opening uh, group is. This is all new content for me, so that's exciting. We got Raise the Union Jack, Captain Britain. It's a five cost green and red card. Uh, two attack, patrol the rooftops. If it's empty, reveal the top two cards of your deck. If they have different team icons, draw them. Otherwise, put them back in any order. We got Jurassic America. The Captain and the Devil. Okay, it's a two cost green and uh, gray Avengers. Plus one buy Spectrum, you get plus two. So Spectrum is... Play this ability only if you have at least three colors of characters among cards you've played this turn and in your hand. Okay, Gray Shield, uh, Hydra, and New Recruits have no color. And I just want to see patrols, just like look at it. We look at it and say, this is empty. Okay, cool. That's my hand. Another Raise the Union Jack for Captain Britain. We got Slapstick, Saturday Morning Harpoons, three cost, blue, two and a half attack, excessive violence, rescue a bystander. Excessive violence, I believe, is just plus one damage. You have to deal one extra, right? Yeah. And then we got combined strength, Captain Britain, zero plus, uh, uh, four green, zero plus attack. You get plus one attack for each different team icon among your heroes. Okay. So pretty straightforward. Let's see what our first evil card is. It is Taskmaster, Ambush. He captures a bystander. During your turn, he gets plus attack equal to the highest cost hero you've played this turn. All right, so he's going to capture a bystander. But he, right now he has three attack, but he is going to get stronger. Luckily, though, we can just, like, nuke him, which is better than doing nothing. So we're going to get him, which is going to get some Nacho Gomez being a little bit angry, but that's that's fine. Sorry, Macho Gomez. His name is Macho, not Nacho. I, do I have some? Oh, no, it's just the sun behind me. I have curtains now, so... Excuse me, there we go. I have curtains now, so like we're not going to get as much light through, but there still is just a little bit too much light through. So let's just bring this down just just a tiny bit, just the tiniest bit. We have three buy. We're going to buy Jurassic America because it gives money. Next card here is Transatlantic Savior, Captain uh, Captain Britain, zero plus buy, zero plus buy three. It's a red. You get plus one money for each different team icon among your heroes. Okay. Evil card here is a Scheme Twist. So that's going to put one. And then we reveal another card. We got a Sentinel. And then we got to put a card on the bottom. And I'm sorry. Um, uh, you know what? I'm sorry, Slapstick. That card just doesn't interest me that much. Uh, Patriotic Chomp, the Captain and the Devil. Four cost, yellow, two plus attack, Spectrum, and you get plus two attack. Okay. 
So we have one attack, which makes sense if you look at the math of the last of the last round, but we do have five buy. So we're gonna grab this card because it'll help us get to our spectrum, which is really going to unlock the power of our deck. We have the super cat at Captain Britain. Dude looks freaking wild, man. It's a green card, seven cost. When you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw three extra cards. Weird. But I suppose this guy, his synergy is about team, so you want more cards in your hand to really take advantage of him. I like that he has an eye patch. He looks like Miguel, which is James's uh, Dungeons and Dragons character. Okay. Evil card is another Sentinels. Okay, that's nice. Well, we have three attack. We have three attack, so let's nuke one of these Sentinels, which allow us to KO a hero. We're gonna KO that guy. We have three currency, so we're gonna grab the um, Transatlantic Savior because we can afford it. And then we got the Super Captain and the Devil. Um, it is a, gr a blue card. Six attack. Whenever you defeat a villain this turn, each villain and mastermind adjacent to it gets minus two attack. I would like to buy that, but I think it's kind of out of our price range. So the more two color cards we can get, the better. But also, like, we want, like, a full uh, spectrum of colors for this week. Let's see what our evil card is before we start playing our turn. This guy rescues a bystander. Wound from your hand. Okay, so we want to keep that guy for a bit. If we can avoid it. Avoid attacking him. This is nothing. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna grab this as well. Oh, I think I forgot to patrol the rooftops when I played that guy. That's okay. We'll worry about that. We'll worry about that the next time we play it. Right now things are just things are just going. But we probably also want to get this other transatlantic savior. We have a lot of attack here, but we don't have a lot of buy power. That's one of the reasons why I like Thor so much, because he turns a buy power into attack by his swarm. Weasel. Each player passes a card from their hand to the player on their left. Okay. So this guy has five attack. So we'll just put that there so we can remember this. Actually. All right, we'll patrol the rooftops. If it's empty, reveal the top two cards of your deck. If they have different team icons, draw them. Otherwise, put them back in any order. So we have two. We have four attack. I think we are going to just nuke. As much as we want to get this wound, um, just nuking this sentinel allows us to thin our deck out, which we like to do. With this three money, we're going to buy the one that gives money. Ah, Napoleon Complex. Uh, this is a four cost slapstick. It's a blue. Two plus buy, blue. If any other players are taller than you, draw a card. If any other players are shorter than you, you get plus one money. Do uh, Both, do both. So we're not going to get the that, that luxury because uh, I'm playing just by myself. Scheme twist. I'm going to put a card on the bottom. Sorry, slapstick. Once again, I don't know if I'm going to play any of your cards, TBH. Feeding grounds. Six cost. Red, three attack, patrol the streets. If it's empty, you may a KO card from your hand or discard pile. We need that. I'm gonna play a new card, another scheme twist. Ooh, these ambitions are gonna be strong when they show up. They are going to be very strong. And that turns into a master strike. So this goes in front of me. So we're going to gain a wound. And then that's going to go into Secret Plans, which is just a four attack guy. So he has seven attack in total. Okay. All right, well, this turn is pretty sweet. We actually get the Spectrum bonus because we have gray, green, and red. So that's going to be plus three. So we're looking at um, three, four, five, six. Oh my god. We have eight. I like this card a lot. 
And I think I am gonna just, it's weird, but I am gonna prioritize that. And then I'm just gonna buy a sidekick. We are gonna prioritize that over anything else. Actually, you know what, before, before we buy the sidekick, we're gonna play this properly. So we have two money floating. We have two money left. We have a new surprise chainsaw slapstick. It's a six cost green card. Four and a half attack, excessive violence. When you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw an extra card. Uh, we're going to play this patrol the rooftops. It's empty, so we'll look at the top two cards. We leave them, then we're gonna buy that sidekick. Yeah, I know it's a bit strange of me to um, buy that six cost as opposed to a super, and maybe you're right, but I do think thinning our deck is key for us walking away uh, with a victory here. Uh, Macho Gomez is going to fill our deck up with um, wounds, and we need to be able to beat those wounds. And I mean, we made six in one turn. We can, I mean, we made eight in one turn. We can definitely get there again. Especially if we start thinning our deck out and making it nice and, nice and, nice and, you know, nice and thin. Six. Evil card is a scheme twist. Okay, these dudes are getting tough. Um, and that's, we put a card on the bottom. No, we should keep that. Sorry, Slapstick. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. And then that's going to turn into Sluggo. Revenge for Deadpool's friends. Fight. Excessive violence. Gain the hero from the HQ with the lowest cost. This dude's going to have one more attack. Okay. And then this guy has four more attack. Two, only three attack this turn, so nothing here. We do have one, two, three, four buy. Um, we're gonna grab this patriotic chomp, I think. Chomp. Evil card here is a master strike, so that's gonna be two wounds into our deck. They're both Grievous, and then that's going to turn into this guy. Okay, so now our streets are empty, so we don't get to KO cards. But... But there's still hope. We have a lot of damage in this deck. Of course, we drew all the money we had this turn. So we have one... Two... Three... We're going to buy a sidekick because we need some card draw. I don't need more of those as we're learning. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to buy and fight anything because we only have three attack. So we're just going to get rid of this wound. We're going to KO that wound. Six. Evil card is Taskmaster. He captures a bystander. Okay. We have Spectrum, so we're going to have um, three money, because we have green, blue, and then red. So we just need to have one more color with that one. So that leaves us with six, so three, six. All right, well maybe we should not have bought that one card. <laughs> um. Am I really just not going to buy anything? That's the question, huh? Yeah. I think we're just going to defeat this Taskmaster. We had a KO a wound from our hand or discard pile. Oh, both of these are easy to get rid of, luckily. You may discard a card and have each other player discard a wound. If you do KO this wound, you may spend five money. We're going to get rid of the five money one. Oh, I should have KO'd one of my heroes. So we're going to quickly just do that as well. I should have KO'd off that last guy. We're just bad. 
Okay, yeah, so we're hoping for a scheme twist or something to get through this, but... I do still believe in our deck. Like, I do still think we're gonna get somewhere good. Evil card, nice. So this guy has eight. Okay, we gotta get working on these dudes. Okay, Spectrum, we're gonna get plus three. So that puts us up to five. Which is not great. It's not great, it is, that's admittedly, you know. We are gonna get to seven attack though, which is pretty nice. We can defeat some people here. So, five? I just don't want any of these cards. So we're just gonna buy a sidekick. It's unfortunate, but that's what we gotta do here if we wanna get on top. So we have four, six, seven. So I think we wanna get rid of these guys when we can, because they are a loss condition. Evil card here is, oh, this dude's huge. We're never killing him. <laughs> He's living for literally ever, just so we're all aware. Okay. Three attack, doesn't do anything. I regret buying this feeding ground for sure. That's where we're going to see this loss. One, two, oh, sorry, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we gotta buy a card. We, we have to just start going on this. We're gonna buy a sidekick as well. Six. Evil card is this. So he's going to escape. We gotta put a card on the bottom. Sorry, slapstick. And now it's our turn. Ooh, if we draw a Scheme Twist without defeating anybody, we lose. So let's just be aware of this. You should be gone. Oh my god, this one's... I'm, I'm just falling off the wheels here, Mike. My, my tr cart's falling apart. We should have... I, I drew a sidekick, is what happened. Okay, we have three attack, which does nothing. Three attack! Yay, it does nothing. But we can discard a card. You know, I'm gonna discard this card instead. Because then we have one, two, three. I will buy nothing. Oh my god, this is, this is probably the worst game of Marble Legendary I've ever played. Scheme Twist causes us to lose? Nice, okay. So, put this card under the villain in the sewers, or when the villain escapes, this card becomes a screen twist. scheme twist. All right. On the plus side, that means that um, that doesn't actually count. I mean, I guess that does count. We are gonna say that counts. Because it just says when they escape. Okay. Sidekick, let's draw two. Let's, we have to get out of this hole, right? Sidekick, let's draw two. And if there was a hand to do it with, it would be this one. Okay. Okay. Spectrum, so we get three, because we have, we have enough. So Spectrum, three, four, five. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna buy this. We're gonna buy that because we need the six attack. <laughs> we need that attack, man. Okay, we need eight there. Four, six, yes. So sorry, we have four, six, nine. Can we do multiple kills? This guy's six, this guy's seven. No, we just gotta nuke him. 
Okay. Three, four. All right, we really want to see that um, that Captain and the Devil uh, super. That would be really beneficial. Evil card is this guy. Okay. We did not see it. Three attack. Three attack doesn't do much. But we do have one, two, three, four buy, so let's buy some attack. These ones could be good here, actually. Scheme twist, that's over. That's over. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 no. This one just stacks. Oh, we still get a play. We still get a play. It's the sixth one that causes them. We still get a play. All right. So we got to put a card on the bottom. And then that's going to turn into Blind Al and Deuce. To fight Blind Al, you also got to drop a Deuce. Discard a card with two printed anywhere. Deuces or Dog, obviously. Everybody drop a Deuce. Deuce is the escape. We're going to get a wound when this guy gets out. Okay. Let me just look at all this. So this is going to be three, four, five, six. Okay. We have Spectrum. Because Spectrum can also be cards in your hand, right? I'm not, I'm not just playing that horribly wrong. Yeah. So we're at four. Six, nine. Spent eight on you. We haven't even started working on Macho Gomez yet. This gives us three, five, six. It's gonna be a bit strange, but slapstick. It's finally time. We have a super slapstick, which is recruit uh, here from the HQ for free. Then you may shuffle your discard pile into your deck. A cost, five attack. Evil card here is Sluggo's back, baby. <clears throat> All right, this turn should be good. He said with six attack. Seven attack. So we have six. Seven. So we're going to defeat him. Everyone else gets minus two, but there's nothing we can work with there. But then we have one, two, three, four. We're going to buy this. So that six cost um, purchase, it did us in. That's where we actually have lost this. Which is so wild because that card seems so good, but we weren't able to keep up with the deck. So, luckily we can point at that and be like, Justin, this is where you went completely wrong. We're not even going to get a shot on Mr. Macho Gomez. Alright. Evil card is... Luckily now, the Scheme Twist just doesn't just nuke us from space, right? So that's nice. Okay. Can we do things here? It doesn't look like it. We have Spectrum. So we have... Yellow, red, blue. So that gives us four attack. Six and a half attack. So we can't actually beat anybody here. 
because we can't fight Blind Al because we don't have a two-cost card. So we just look at these and go, nice, we've done it. But these guys are three, six, nine, ten. So we're going to grab this and then a sidekick. Evil card. Scheme twist. So these guys escape. So we've had three escape. So on top or bottom in a random order. So reveal the top two cards. Those are just going to go on top. Um, when that villain escapes. Okay. It becomes a scheme twist. So nothing happens because it only goes up to six. And then the other one was this guy. Uh, each other player chooses money or attack and then discards all cards with that icon. So we're probably going to choose money here. These two. Oh no, we discard not KO. That would, that would be nice. Um, two guys escape, so we're going to put two cards on the bottom. And then we put another card on the bottom because we drew a scheme twist. Okay. So we have three here, so we can have one more escape. I don't think we're going to win, but we're not going to lose by that because we only have a certain number of turns left. And we have three master strikes left to come out. But two... Eight. Ten and a half. Eleven. Eleven and a half. Alright, so we can defeat Sluggo. He cost me seven. So we can excessive violence, so we rescue a bystander. And then we also have to gain the H with the lowest cost from the HQ. That makes these guys tougher. But now we can put all of our energy into fighting Mr. Nacho Gomez. Evil card is this guy. So he has five on him. What's our attack? Two and a half, four... Eight and a half. Nine and a half. We can defeat this guy. Nacho Gomez, for sorry, Macho Gomez, for everyone's reference, is uh, 12. Oh my gosh. You know, as long as just once that stupid dinosaur card... Um, Oh, I should have KO'd last turn, shouldn't I? No, well, let's just say I did. Evil card is this guy. All right. Patrol the streets. If it's empty, KO a card from my hand or discard pile. Spectrum, we're gonna get plus three. So we're at three, sorry, plus two. So um, we're at five. Oh, actually, you know what? We're gonna keep this back. We're gonna keep this back. We have two, so we're gonna buy a sidekick. We have eight. We can fight this guy and then also do some excessive violence to recruit a card from the HQ for free and then shuffle my uh, discard pile into my deck. Okay. 
New card. Uh, so you get plus one attack for each different team icon among your heroes. Go, Captain Britain, go. All right, so now this is four, and this is four. We still have another Sentinel that I would love to see here, but we know we're going to see a Master Strike. See? Three wounds. Into this guy. Who just has 11 attacks. So we're going to lose this game. We'll draw three extra cards next turn. Two and a half. Two. Five. Six, two more attack. So we're at four and a half. Uh, seven and a half, which doesn't do anything, unfortunately. So with our six, we're going to buy this. Hey, and a sidekick. Hey. Uh, three more cards. It's three, right? Yes. Master Strike, so we'll gain four wounds. This is rough. Sentinels. Okay, so we just got to generate um, 13 times four attack. If anyone can do it, it's me. Oh my god, this hand is abysmal. Two and a half. Trust me, we have Spectrum. Uh, so we're at six and a half. Um, eight and a half. That brings us up to 11. 13. Hey, you know what? If we can get a, a hit on Macho Gomez, I'm calling that, I'm calling that a, a win. Each other player with at least one bounty on their head discards down to four cards. Joke's on you, uh, Nacho. We already got four cards. Uh, three, six, seven. Excuse me, evil card is Master Strike. All right. I'm calling this here. Dead. We lost to Mr. Macho Gomez. Um, can we have killed him one more time? Six, 10, 11, 12. No, we would not have been able to kill him another time. So that's, uh, that's that. Uh, that one was a bit uh, unfortunate. I did not have the best... Uh, <laughs> I did not play as good as I should have, which is uh, rather unfortunate. Man, why is the volume on this so high? A little bit unfortunate, but you know, we uh, always have fun playing Marvel Legendary. Um, so I'll see you guys very soon for another episode. Uh, have a good one. If you have any recommendations for team comps, I am still like, uh, I am getting through all the cards that I need to play. We have a bunch of new content coming your way uh, on the channel here for this. Um, so yeah. Let me know if there's anyone you want to see, and maybe I'll squeeze them in as I'm trying to, you know, make my way through all of this exciting new content I have. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one, and um, as always, GG's.